Welcome to the Sonoran Desert Supermarket. One of the staple foods of the Tohono A'atam was the choya cactus. Right next to me is a buckhorn choya. It's one of the most common choya cactus here in the Sonoran Desert. Of course, there's many kinds of choyas like jumping choyas, teddy bear choyas, but this particular one is very abundant. It has a lot of flowers and it's very easy to harvest. What you typically eat out of this plant is the flower before it opens. This time of the year, during the spring, we're talking about mid-March to mid-April, we have the choyas starting to blossom. And before the flower opens, you see what is called the bud, often we call it the choya bud. Right before it opens, it's a bundle of nutrients. It has pollen, it's starting to get nectar, so it will attract pollinators when it opens. But the native figure out a way of harvesting the flower, clean the, the spines off, and have it as food. The traditional way of harvesting the choya buds is by using, in this case, a basket. This is a Pima-style willow basket. The traditional way is using these saguaro rib tongs that you can actually hold the bud and twist it and that way you put them in your basket without touching them with your hands. Somehow the Tohono O'odham figure out that by cleaning the spines and using the basket in a little brush, you could actually enjoy this wonderful food that is full of calcium, actually more calcium than milk, and you can actually dry them rehydrate them and keep them all year long and enjoy a food that is actually seasonal this time of the year in the spring but you can enjoy them throughout the year. Once you have collected a good amount of choya buds the next step is to remove the spines and for that you need another tool a broom. This is a broom can be made out of palm or it can be made out of uh, bear grass which is another native plant here in the Sonoran Desert. So the next step is to brush this choya buds up against the bottom of the basket so you can remove the spines. You will be surprised how quickly this can be done. After you've done literally a few seconds of cleaning, you can actually get any of these choya buds and hold them in your hands with no worries that the spines will harm you. Sometimes there's still a few little uh, pieces in there, but they're very soft. Basically, they're not uh, hard anymore and you can just put them in your mouth. This is a simple way of eating them right straight from the plant, but you can boil them in salt, saute them in olive oil, put them in pastas, put them in salads, pickle them. So it's a whole array of ways that you can increment your diet by adding some native foods to it. And you don't have to eat 100% native foods, but this is a way of peppering your diet with native foods and also appreciating the desert a little more.